kind friends and companions, come join me in rhyme. Come lift up your voices in chorus with mine. Come lift up your voices, all grief to refrain. For we may or might never all meet here again. Here's a health to the company, have and one to my last. Let us drink and be merry, all out of one glass. Let us drink and be merry, all grief to refrain. For we may or might never all meet here again. Here's a health to the dear lass that I love so well. For her style and her beauty, sure none can excel. There's a smile on her countenance as she sits on my knee. There's no man in this wide world as happy as me. Here's a help to the company and one to my lass. Let us drink and be merry all out of one glass. Lies at anchor, she's ready to dock. I wish her safe landing without any shock. If ever I should meet you by land or by sea, I will always remember your kindness to me. Here's a help to the company and one to my last. Let us drink and be merry, all out of one glass. Let us drink and be merry, all grief to refrain. For we may or might never all be here again. King and a lasting peace to faction and to wealth increase. Come, let us drink while we have breath, for there's no drink after death. And he that will this health deny. Down among the dead men, down among the dead men, down, down, down. Pleasures to my soul. Let Bacchus's health around briskly move. For Bacchus is the friend of love. And he that would this health deny. Down among the dead men, down among the dead men, down, down. Says treasure crowns the board. We'll sing the joy that both the food and they that won't with us comply. Down among the dead men, down among the dead men, down. What is up, guys? Welcome to Test Drive. We're doing uh, Azurious Winds or Blue-White Favorable Winds. 
Th like, uh, I'm glad you guys like the music here. This is actually from uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It's like one of my favorite, as on uh, only a favorite uh, Assassin's Creed games. Top 100 pirate chart. <laughs> Ellie, how dare you, sir? <laughs> I challenge you to a duel of fisticuffs. All right, guys, if you haven't seen the deck tag, I posted on the channel a, a couple, I think an hour or so ago. Uh, but the deck list is in the description if you guys want to check that out. Um, but I'm going to go over it real quick. We've got uh, the one drop slot. We've got four Siren Storm Tamer, then four Charter Course, four Favorable Winds, four Storm Fleet Aerialist, lots of four ofs, three Avon Mind Sensor, three Kinjali Sunwing, four uh, Nimble Obstructionist, three Exxon's Binding, uh, th was it four or three? Three Dreamcaller Siren, two Angel Invention, one Baral's Expertise, and one River's Rebuke. Let's go to the sideboard here. We have uh, two Authority of the Consoles, two Negate, two Supreme Will, three Cast Out, two Gideon's Intervention, two Fumigate, and two Cloud Laser. So basically trying to uh, mitigate the aggro strategy or the control strategy from the sideboard here. But let's get right into it, guys. I'm excited to show this off. All right. Rivers of Buke, I'm in. <laughs> My nickname is Elf. Nice. Great music. Let's raid something. Exactly. Play first. Yes. Opening hand. What do we got here? Obstructionist Charter Course. Binding an Angel. This looks like a mulligan. <laughs> this is a much better hand. We'll keep this. Uh, sure. Put that on top. Get out a uh, Glacial Fortress for the turn. And pass. Once you play out the uh, Scavenger Grounds next turn, you get a favorable wins on turn two. Let's sink some opponents. <laughs> oh, thanks. What's up, Jonathan? I appreciate that. Oh, we're playing up against some Marty vehicles here. We're going to play uh, three favorable wins here. Ooh, interesting. Shiver me timbers. I'd be excited. Yeah, opponent's going to possibly play out a Heart of Curin on turn two. <coughs> Woo! Ah, man. The tonic. A little too deep there for me. <coughs> yeah, we got a Heart of Kieran here. Get out of planes. Let's do favorable wins. And, well. We can hold up. Uh, because we have Nimble Obstructionist here. Did this have Flash? <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what our opponent has for the turn three play. Going up against a really fast Mardu deck right now. What's this music, man? <laughs> it is decent. Uh, link is in the description, guys, for some of it, but uh, it's actually all from uh, the Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag soundtrack. So. Why couldn't the pirate play magic? Because he was standing on the deck. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was bad. Oh, he did the heart of Kieran here. Very nice. We're going to uh, cast our Obstructionist and block here. Unless they have a kill spell. Let's see, do they? If they don't, we just kill the Kieran here. Worth a try, though. Oh, Lightning Strike. No attack to us, though, thanks to the block there. <laughs> Whipped up yesterday's deck, a deck up, changed out the banner for unlicensed disintegration. That deck is awesomely insane. My friends and I tested it versus the meta and took all, yeah. It's very good, Crispy. I'm glad you could uh, use the uh, unlicensed as well in the deck. Let's get a Glacier Fortress. Get out. Another favorable wins. And then a Siren. It's a 3-3 three -three right now for us. Gonna likely be taking 4 to the Heart of Kieran this turn. Just gotta see what we can do here against this uh, Heart of Kieran strategy. Only on turn 4, so... Veteran Motorist. Okay, so they're getting it in for the Toolcraft and the Kieran, most likely. Auto kill plus three to your opponent's face. Too good. That's right. Ooh, two veteran motorists. I bet it's going to make this stream a pub in a couple of minutes. <laughs> I could uh, get a pub behind me. That'd be fun. All right, toolcraft going to 
3-2. Making it a 5-5. Five five. Opponent is all gas right now. I seriously want to have a joke. <laughs> oh, man. My favorite pubs are going, or the Irish pubs, man. They're the best. Let's see. Let's see here. Got into a Kinjali Sunwing. It is a 4-5 for us. Still not enough to kill the Heart of Kirin, but it can, you know, withstand a uh, lightning strike. Rebuke the board. I will as soon as I get to 6 mana. But at least for now we can hold off uh, a second motorist attack. Music is so good. <laughs> what, is this? what is this song called? This song is called Star of the County, Town, County Down. Star of the County Down. And again, it's from the Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag soundtrack. The music is in the description. I recommend some YouTubing and Googling. Let's see. Tearing his turn to stream viewers to <laughs> Junkers from all his punting. Aw, Elliot. That was mean. Alright, getting in here. Might have a lightning strike on the uh, sun wing right here but by blocking. Let's just see what happens. Down to seven. There's a tool craft. Opponent, you're all gas right now. Jeez. Let's see. Field of Ruin does help. Let's kill the uh, Spire of Energy here. Of industry, not energy. Get a uh, planes here. Let's see, you get in for six. Next turn, we'll go to one. Hmm. If we block the Heart of Kirin. Ouch. Hey guys, it's your boy. <laughs> Fire energy. I don't know why I said energy. I meant industry. I'm gonna work this in fairy country. <laughs> oh man. Oh, and there you go. Oh, it comes in tap because of the sun wing. That's right. Aether pub. <laughs> Love the pirates theme in AC. Yeah, I mean, the uh, Black Flag is probably my favorite Assassin's Creed game thanks to the uh, pirate theme here. Okay, getting in for five and three. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to block here and go to two. If they have a lightning strike in hand, they have it. Let's see. One card in hand for our opponent. Top deck of land, please. Well, first of all, wins isn't terrible, but we still lose. Sadly. Oh, well. Let's go to concede here. Gonna go to a sideboard here. Lots of great stuff going on from our opponent. Let's get in some negates to uh, get rid of the uh, <clears throat> Heart of Curans. Let's get in a uh, keep Baral's expertise and take out River's Rebuke. Then we're going to uh, let's see. Let's get in uh, some inter interventions. Actually, not interventions. Let's uh, get in authority. Yeah. This is the first stream I've ever been able to catch. What's up, Jack? Good thing that changed the legendary plot. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, this music's so good, guys. I just, I love it. <clears throat> Let's get out of intervention and put in uh, some cloud blazers instead. Get out a dream caller, an obstructionist, a mind sensor, and a charter course. <laughs> Doing well, you? Doing pretty good, Jack. What's people? Is this blue white flyers you played against? Uh, we played against a Mardu, or not a Mardu, but maybe a um, red white vehicle deck. <laughs> May the winds be favorable. 
Let's see. Let's do let's do this. We'll see what happens. Why no more one drops in the deck? We wanted to be more of a tempo based strategy. Did you play first? Yes. Paper wins. Tamer and Obstructionist. This is quite good. Let's keep. All right. Let's get out a island. Caucasian <laughs> American slash blue flags. Let's get a uh, island here and get a storm tamer and pass. We'll likely see a turn one dwarf. There's his inspiring advantage. There he is. Goodness. Can you get out a glacial fortress here and a favorable winds. And pass. Of course, we are open to a lightning strike here. But I assume they want to get a hearty cure out and try and trade. Almost auto include Hope Ajira for since using white side salinity for energy decks. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, Crispy, I wanted to have a little more. Uh, tech against an aggro and a control strategy, but energy is definitely something to worry about. Here's Heart of Kieran coming in. Of course, this is going to get up to 3-2. Uh, no problem. I am happy to take that trade. <laughs> when you're too broke to afford all art lands. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see, let's get out a uh, island here. Both creatures of flash, so I think we'll be okay with it. it's just uh, playing one out on their turn. If they decide to uh, play out a toolcraft and attack out, we might just nimble obstructionist the heart of Kieran again. Of course, they may have a uh, lightning track in hand as well, so we want to keep that in mind. Oh, how are we winning? <laughs> this is a uh, game two. Let me update that. Uh, we lost round one really quickly to a. Uh, there's a Dapala, okay. Yep, that's gonna make things a little bit more difficult. Wow, no, no crew there. We're gonna get out an Aven Mind Sensor here. The reason we want Aven is because we can do Nimble Obstructionist for the vehicle trigger. Let's see, we're gonna get out a uh, Plains here and a Storm Tamer. Pass. Turn you could add Hardy Kieran. True. Right. Alright. Also at work watching the stream. <laughs> nice. Oh man. This music, I'm in love with it. Opponent has four cards in hand, four mana on the battlefield. Played a concealed courtyard there. I assume the music is from terrible Irish musical. <laughs> Josh, it's from uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so do we want this to happen? Either way, we would, we would lose a creature here. So we'll let that happen. Pun has three cards in hand. Pun is passing once again. Hmm. Let's get out Nimble Obstructionist here. I bet the Leaf will chuck some beer while dancing outside. Nice! We got a favorable wins. Let's get that out. Sweet. Opponent has two cards in hand. We're going to keep this up for blocks. Where's the money there? <laughs> that's where I heard this. Yeah, that's that's it, Sean. <laughs> Toolcraft Exemplar. Let me see. 
So I'm like, what match we on? We are match one, game two. We lost two on uh, game one really quickly to a... Looks like... Oh, a white, black, red in, uh, vehicle deck. Energy. Why would I say energy? What's your favorite, least favorite deck type to pilot? Uh, my favorite to pilot is probably control, but I hate playing it on stream because it's incredibly slow. Ooh, and unlicensed. Yeah, we're going to Siren Storm Tamer. You feel like uh, attacking? Sure. Let's kill a heart here, even though the Paula is more of a threat on some level. Glacial Fortress. Not doing too well against this incredibly fast deck here. Going to be taking, uh, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight to the face. What's the weirdest deck that you think has a short at doing well in standard? Has a shot at doing well in standard? Um, Blue White Approach is obviously one of those decks that's like tier two, but kind of makes it into some uh, random stuff. I'm going to skip some of these. Let's go back to the Iranian main soundtrack music. And Jolly Sunwing. Let's get that out. Marty Vehicles without Ally Gideon seems way less scary. <laughs> Love your stream, so happy when I catch them live. Nice, Stickler. Yeah, it's way less scary, but it, that doesn't mean that it can't win a lot. So, we have a 4 5 here. We can definitely uh, block something. We just can't block the Heart of Cure, and I think it's going to be another game loss for us. Quick 0 2. Construct Tribal is the weirdest deck. <laughs> wow, there's a Hazaret. Okay. Comes in tap thanks to Sunwing, though. Goodness gracious. Let's see what our opponent's going to do here. Crew with Dipala here and swing for five. Yeah. We can kill the Exemplar if they decide to uh, swing with that. Not as good without getting. That's true. It's not oppressive. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're gonna block a uh, toolcraft here and hope for uh, river's rebuke or something like that. Or we're just dead this turn. Uh, authority of the consoles. Still dead. Wow, that was a quick go too. Goodness gracious. Alright, let's get into another match. Let me update the uh, listing here. Any combo deck you plan on making, Taren? Uh, maybe. Combo decks are really hard to kind of, you know, obviously go off. Uh, the Infinite Thopter deck was a lot of fun. So it might be that. Charter Course, Charter Course. Two Sirens. What up, Taren? How many tacos have you had today? None. I had uh, some hot dogs for lunch, though. Deck really needs unsummon. There was unsummon in the sideboard for a little bit for over over uh, the Supreme Will, and then I ultimately took it out because I kept going up against control strategies. So let's see. Trying to decide whether or not to keep this hand and keep the charter courses here. We are on the draw. We'll keep. Oh, she's doing well. That aggression was unbearable. <laughs> Esper gift deck soon, maybe. Get into an energy deck right here. Excellence binding, not bad. Let's get out a glacial fortress. Just tap, it don't matter. It don't matter. And pass turn here. Getting into Ixalan's binding is quite good, but see rebound crack. Got a planes here. Let's go for a charter course. Can probably pitch a dream caller here. Got into an Aven Mind Sensor. Yeah, we're gonna pitch a dream caller. Actually, we'll pitch a f mm, Field of Ruin. It's less impactful on this matchup. We that still means we still have a uh, four mana, so we're still fine. Opponent getting out an island. 
What do we got here? Rogue Refiner. Let's go with the Glacial Fortress. And then um, we'll likely play out an Avon Mind Sensor on their turn. Try an Enigma Drake deck, please. Jonathan, we built a couple of them over the uh, past couple of months. We may, we may revisit it whenever Rivals comes out. No, 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 procession. It's unlike you. <laughs> I got to help the local haunted house. That was fun. Nice, Casey. That's cool. Another rogue refiner here. I don't mind a attack or having them hit us for three this turn. We'll do an Aven at the end of the turn. That way we can get a raid trigger on the storm fleet. Six cards in hand for our opponent. Yeah, let's get that out. Terry, I'm working on an Esper Vampire deck. Nice. It's weird seeing no mimics or processions. <laughs> I don't use them for every deck. Come on, guys. All right, let's see. We can do a Aerialist and a Charter Course with this attack. So we're going to get lots of value from this. Alrighty. We're making sure we have a Pirate on the battlefield for the Dream Colors next turn. There we go. Favorable wins. We've got it. And their turn. Just spread white paint on your face. <laughs> oh, man. 134 watching. Oh, we just jumped up to 143. Nice. Welcome, guys. Of course, if you're new to the channel, I stream Monday through Friday, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, right here on YouTube. Let's see, going up for four here. We have five. Ooh, Glorybringer. Ixalan's Binding is going to grab that. Let's see if he wants to exert. Let's see. There's an exert. Going to kill the uh, Stormfleet Aerialist here. Getting in for a lot. Ten. <laughs> Scarab God negates Charter Course, yeah. Ouchies. Yeah, this turn is going to be relegated to a Ixalan's Binding on the Glorybringer. Gonna hold up a block here for a rogue refiner as well. We will likely go to four this next turn. If you start streaming on Twitch. Aw, uh, don't do that. You ever play that mono white vampire monument deck? I have not yet. If someone submits that on Fan Fridays, I might do it. I don't know. Uh, I'll definitely be looking at Fan Friday submissions after the stream today. Let's see, we've got a Hydra here. Or another rogue refiner. Chandra Torch of Defiance. Ouch. Our opponent has all the answers here. Yeah, we could have done Siren there, but. Harness Lightning. Getting in for six. Okay, we can do a Storm Tamer and a Dream Caller next turn, but we will likely die to a Chandra, just activation. We have the ability to play a Nimble Extractionist and negate that. One, two, three. I just don't have the mana to do everything I want to do right now. We could get out a Favorable Winds and then a Obstructionist or a Sunwing. That wouldn't do much. Could get out a storm tamer. Flash in. Dream caller. Hmm. Still dead, thanks to the Chandra ability here. Yeah, we're gonna concede. Dinosaur land destruction. I've actually been tinkering with a land destruction deck. I don't know when I will be uh, releasing that yet. But uh. I haven't made one uh, in a while. Let's see what we want to go for here. I'm gonna bring in some negates. I'm gonna take out a river's rebuke. Dream caller. Let's put in some authorities. Or not authority. Uh, Gideon's intervention. Take out charter course. A nimble. 
That looks to be good there. Yeah, I think I don't want to put anything else in there. Really like Ixalan. I like Ixalan too, Sean. The only problem is, of course, is that there's not a lot of impact in the, like, Tier 1 strategies in uh, Standard at the moment. But we try as best we can. <laughs> so this music, does this monetize the channel for Ubisoft? <laughs> Josh, most of the time, uh, video game music, like, they don't even, like, touch it, so... Damn, this is an aggro deck. Turn those creatures sideways. Stop holding them back. <laughs> you want to win the game. I got you. Play first, yes. Opening hand has an aerialist, a storm tamer, two lands. I wish this was the scavenger ground was a plains instead of the scavenger grounds here. What's the best way to play MBGO drafts? Uh, just in the leagues. We're gonna keep it. Because you do get the storm tamer out on the, the turn we want to play. So let's get that out and pass. How do I submit a deck for Fan Friday? You can always email them at superhenotama at gmail, or we have a Facebook group in the link you can join up to. And I have a pin post there where you can submit a deck list. That's a Baden. <laughs> What's up, Skillin from Gamersall? Nice. Used to do some Diablo 3 recording and post them back when D3 was actually hard, but I had a Pandora running while streaming and monetize it, yeah. Yeah, it'll stream any, uh, it'll monetize, <clears throat> like, regular music, so. If it's soundtrack music, most of the time, like, uh, with video games, they let it go, but we'll see what happens. Today's the first, like, test with this one. We're gonna go for a Field of Ruin here. Let's get in for one here with a Storm Tamer. Being on the play makes it a lot easier for us with the uh, Favorable Winds deck. Scout a aerialist, making a 2-3, and then passing. If you don't get into a planes this next turn, we'll probably use Field of Ruin on the sheltered ticket there. Let me get on this the highlight that. There we go. Yeah, exactly, guys. You guys <laughs> just like debating licensing. Even Mind Center just 2 1, or is there a card aside from a tune that it attacks? Uh, a tune, uh, Evolving Wilds, any kind of uh, search for like a trophy mage, things like that. There's also the Godfrey's Gift deck. Shuts that down completely. Opponent is passing. Scavenger Grounds here. Let's get in for uh, 3. Are there any Bex, de Bex? Are there any decks it, it is better to be on the draw? Uh, mostly aggro decks, I would say. Let's see, we have a Braid here. I think we're going to let that not happen. Of course, we will still get in two instead of uh, three, but he will be wasting a card there. That does put us back a little bit on the uh, mana requirements. So we want to keep that in mind. Let's see, Rootbound Crag coming in. Six cards in our opponent's hand. Alrighty, let's see here. Nice! Got into a Plains. Alright, let's get out a uh, Storm Tamer here. Opponent may own reaction to the Storm Tamer. Try and kill the Aerialist. If that's the case, we'll still be able to play the Mind Sensor. Yeah, there's a Harness Lightning. Yeah, mana situation isn't great. It's crazy because there's only, you know, two Field of Ruins and one Scavenger Grounds in the deck. But if you draw into them, like, back to back, it's really terrible for you. And there are a lot of decks that will run, like, Evolving Wild instead. But I really need the, uh, the speed instead. So, let's see. Our opponent is going to pass turn. Looks like. Gonna go for an Aven here. Gideon's intervention is super funny. Let's get in for attacks first. What's the point of using foils? Because uh, they're cool, man. 
You're cool, dog. Let's see what our opponent's going to be doing this next turn. A tune? Yeah, we're going to go for an even. Of course, this isn't, this isn't an enter the battlefield ability, it's just uh, on the battlefield. Alright, pass. Another field of ruin, goodness. Let's go for a sheltered thicket hit here. And get a um, planes. That way we can use Gideon's intervention. What would be the likely scenario to hit here for Gideon's intervention? Would it be the Bristling Hydra? Would it be Chandra Torch of Defiance? Or just uh, something simple like uh, Rogue Refiner? We could have done double field there. That's true. I follow you forever. You make a bullet. <laughs> Bronze that doesn't work in standard. He needed black mana, okay. Spiral of Canal. Has blue as well. Alright, we do have enough for an Angel of Invention here. What do we want to name with Gideon here? Because we do have the blue mana tapped down. I think they are running blue. Do you think we they have Scarab God? Is that is that the uh, the case here? I'll see you, Mr. Potato. I'm really confused on what they're actually playing here. Opponent on four color weirdness. <laughs> Bristling Hydra is a is a, a headache for us. Blow up his land again, the Spire Bluff Canal. Pretty easy if you claim fair use law they can fly, yeah. Hmm. We could grab a Spire Bluff, or we can get in for three, six, seven, eight on this turn with the Angel and take him to one. I think that's fair, actually. I mean, he's at nine right now, so we could get in for a possible eight, thanks to Angel. But if you guys want to feel the room, we can do that. Gonna get a uh, island here this time, and then just swing in for uh, five. Take him down to four. Okay. Again, he went for an island there. Let's see what the next play is. Field of Ruin did come in handy there for us. Seven cards in hand. Attuned with Aether. Can only search the top four. Warlord Virtuoso. He does be able, has the ability to make two servos here. We'll just play Angel of Invention. Should be game after playing that. Of course, we'll be able to kill these servos. Yeah, that's it. All right, we're going to go to game three. Couldn't really find anything for our opponent there. Let's get out a Brawl's Expertise and put in a anoint uh, author blah, 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 authority of the consoles. I think that's a little bit better for us. Aven working really well. Yeah, Aven works awesome, especially against uh, an energy deck like this where they use, when you use a tune as quickly as possible. Love all the flashy flyers here. <laughs> Music made them scoop. Let's see. Yeah, I think authority is the is the call we have here. Let's go with this. Pawn had so many colors. It's so confusing what they're doing. I had a hard time thinking about removing them from my. Uh, red blue deck though. Gotcha. Let's 
Let's see what our... <laughs> oh man, we just get these killer opening hands sometimes. It's just like, it defies logic. We're gonna mulligan. Sure. Um, we are on the draw, so let's keep. Sure. We do get a uh, Storm Tamer, Spire Bluff Canal coming out. Getting into a white is going to be crucial for us, but having a negate in the battle on our hand is pretty decent too. What's up, sideboard? You made it! Our opponent, seven cards in hand. You have a second land play for the turn. Game three, match two, and the Spire Bluff Canal, okay. Let's get out of land here, and then we're going to just swing in for t uh, one, not two, one. Very nice. Alrighty, holding up in the gate here. A braid. Interesting. That smells of desperation. We're going to negate that. Aether Hub coming in. Okay. Where the Virtuoso coming in? Nice. Let's see if we can top deck a land here. Would like to. Do not top deck a land, but we do get a Stormplate Aerialist. I feel like it is worth it to have them expend the energy. To make a 1-1, one, one, then we just make an aerialist here. Sure, no problem. Don't mind trading. Let's get out an aerialist here. We're having some mana troubles on turn three. There we go. Reflector Mage. <laughs> oh, I love Reflector Mage. I love slash hate Reflector Mage. Love using it, hated it being used against me. A tune of they through there. Three mana on their side. Two energy. They had to Aether Hub there for the Attune with Aether, so they only get two energy, not three, like they would have had. 2 3 here. Could die to a Blossoming Defense here, so we're going to let this happen. This might still die to a Harness Lightning or something. Nothing. I got an Island. Okay. Again, still needed planes here. But in the meantime, we're doing alright. I'm trying to give a shout out to Cyborg MTG. He is a streamer too, and he streams Dev's deck text from Strictly Better MTG. Nice! Had no idea, man. That's awesome. Servant of the Conduit, making some energy. No green mana for this, so I'm looking for an attack here for two, going to 16. Let's see what we can do here in the upkeep. Island, well we do have a Siren here we can play. Let's get in for two here. Sure. <laughs> See what our opponent's going to do here. Got a land for the turn. Four cards in hand. We're going to go for a Dreams Caller Siren here. This might get countered because of all the blue we're seeing. Four cards in hand from our opponents. Do we see a Supreme Will here? Or an Essence Scatter? We do not. Alright, we're going to tap our opponent's creatures down. Chandra Torch of Defiance coming in. Might be killing the uh, Siren here. If 
he does do that, Chandra will die, though. Love you guys, just like being part of the community. Magic players are <laughs> great people in general. At least that's been my experience. I can agree with that. Yeah, he's going to risk a Chandra death this next turn. Glacial Fortress. Let's see if they have a way to... Uh, Protect Chandra this turn. Oh, they have the World of Virtuoso. That's what it was. Could play the Sunwing there. <clears throat> my bad. That was my mistake there. Could have played the Sunwing first. Didn't think about the energy for the yes for that play. Let's get out of Sunwing. Yeah, should have played the Wing first and attacked with the uh, Aerialist to kill Chandra. Either way, we have two flyers now to be able to kill Shandra, so they are on the upkeep for two creatures. With two creatures. Gonna get some uh, energy here. Will we see a Glorybringer play? Harness Lightning gonna kill the Sunwing. Yeah, and if all goes to heck, we can always play Ixalan's Binding on the Chandra here. Ixalan's Binding on the Glorybringer here. <laughs> Let's see, are we doing an exert here from the glory bringer? Looks like. Well, Ixalan's binding the Chandra, and then uh, we will get into intervention the glory bringer if we get into some white mana. Were you standing up while streaming before you got in the chair? Uh, no, no, the chair that I did have was just really low. Even mind sensor, not bad. Let's go for an Ixalan's Binding on Chandra here. And hope we get into a Plains this next turn. If not, we'll just be uh, sacrificing the Mind Sensor to an Exert of Ability Trigger. But we might just be dead before that happens. Two cards in our opponent's hand. Getting in for four. Taking me down to four. Yeah, even if we did the Gideon's Intervention, we would still be dead to the beats. Yep, that's it. Good games, good games. Let's go to the lobby again. And rack up another round. I surprised to see almost no one build a Boros or Mardu Tokens deck with Hotly Warrior Poet. Just seems like so good. To curve anointed into hotly. That's true, Tim. Gonna go first here. Let's see what we can do in this hand here. I actually like this hand a lot because we are on the play. We have these charter course and aerialist. We could do charter course if we don't get into another land. I think this is a keeper. Be quite a few teamer players with blue black winds deck with Thopters, Riddle Forms, and Tesseret's Touch. Nice. Glacial Fortress and pass. I just built a Boros Dinosaur fan party. Awesome. Gonna hit six for our opponent here at Loafwat. <laughs> Conceal. Okay, we've got a cat here. Got into a land. That's nice. Let's go for. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for a charter course here. Glacial Fortress and a Plains. Yeah, we're going to discard a Plains for this. I think that's fine. Already matched <laughs> match three game one. Hope you play one more match. <laughs> yeah, Kenny, we're going to try to. I try to get in at least, you know, about an hour, hour and a half for the stream. The yeah, Ornithopters are free flyers in the Favorable Winds deck. Anointed Priest. Glacial Fortress getting out there for us. Sunwing is pretty decent for this play here. And then we will play out a Plains next turn. 
attack with an aerialist. Do favorable winds. Or attack with Sunwing, then do favorable winds in an aerialist. Can we take advantage of Tishana Voice of Thunder in a banned deck deck with tokens and Itlamok? I don't know. I've never even thought about that. Maybe. Flyers, just like constructs we did yesterday, they have a ton of options. You can build the deck, I mean, in several different ways. And that's kind of like the best part about Standard right now is that there are a ton of different decks that just have so much interaction with each other. There's a hidden stockpile here. Planes, okay. Sacred Cat. Looking for an attack from the Sacred Cat here to trigger the annoyed stockpile or hidden stockpile. No, okay. Strange. It's got a planes here. We're gonna do a favorable wins. Attack for three, and then uh, do a Stormfleet Aerialist. No attack, no blocks. Stormfleet Aerialist coming in with a raid. Mr. Castellan, oh, okay, no. Got known that for like three to four days. Just watched the previous streams a few minutes ago. Nice. I'm sorry about the no internet. That sucks. Working on a schedule. Thought about trying to take the block after Taryn goes offline. I'll get you guys a solid schedule soon. Nice. Yeah, let me know, sideboard, if you guys want to, if you want to, like, you know, kind of do some, I don't know, like, uh, in-between marketing. <laughs> Had the fast lands, it would just play just guy wins deck. Love Sky Terror too much. Sky Terror is great. I think, uh, didn't Dev build a just guy favorite wins deck with Sky, win Sky Terror? Internet is like a basic human right. <laughs> Yeah, getting in for here. We're going to block a uh, Sacred Cat here. They're going to gain life. And they're going to get a Hidden Stockpile trigger. Yeah, collab. That's what that's, that's the word I was thinking of. Sideboard, collab. Champion of Wits coming in. And coming in tapped, drawing two cards, discarding two cards. What are you throwing away? Anointer priest and a plane. Okay. You actually live in a place without Wi-Fi. I watch from the library. <laughs> wow, Casey, that's crazy. Cross marketing. Ah, there we go. Got a uh, sacred cat there. Hidden stockpile. Got a planes here. Can we have Dream Caller, Siren, and the Obstructionist? So let's just attack out for six here and then hold up some mana for either a Dream Caller or, or yeah, or an Obstructionist. The token strategy here is going to be, uh, try and get as wide as possible before they start attacking out. When my niche is playing decks, people build but don't play. And meta coverage, you play your decks. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, I try and play my decks sideboard, and that, that's <laughs> that's kind of what, what you know what inspired me to do the streams for this for that kind of stuff. Uh, we're gonna go for a siren here. Because like a lot of people do deck techs, and then they don't do like any test footage or any uh, like live streams or anything like that. And uh, I kind of wanted to make sure that, you know, even if even if the deck is, like, going to be bad on, on live stream, I want to make sure that, you know, they, they, you guys at least see it happening. Oh, we just broke 150. Nice. Put us two cards in hand. Five mana. Is there a cast out coming to Dreamcaller here? Anointer Priest. Okay. Gonna be gaining some life. We tapped the creatures that could have that could come back, so they didn't want to waste any of their other tokens. Run fusion. <laughs> Let's see. Hidden stockpile for a sacred cat there. We still have the upper hand here. We have let's see, six ten on the board.
island. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could go for a Sunwing here. And then swing in for 10. Is there a reason you stream on YouTube over Twitch? Uh, Food Lover, I just liked the... Not necessarily the UI, but I liked how the community on YouTube seemed to be a bit more... I don't know, nicer? <laughs> uh, but also, like, for like a newer person doing streams and stuff, YouTube is a little bit better for us. Although maybe not now, thanks to Adpocalypse. But, uh... <laughs> but, you know, one of these days I'm, I may make a second thing that happens on Twitch, but for now it's just gonna be on YouTube. Thanks, and also because all of our content is, like, on one channel. So, like, you have the videos and you have the other stuff. Legion's landing. Ouchies. That's going to flip. Okay, we can get in for 13 this next turn. We can actually cycle this to uh, delay the Legion's landing flip. Nice. Get rid of, uh, let's see. He can kill with hidden stockpile, so there's really nothing we can do about that. Let's opt to kill the lifelinker here. Next week, play only Azurius. <laughs> YouTube does have nice people commenting for MTG, nothing else, oddly. <laughs> stream our first fan deck for the 100 sub. Thank you, stream. Nice. I plan to have fan Fridays again. Awesome. Our fan days again. Let's see, we opponent is at 13. They're going to go to 14, so they're going to go to 1 next turn if we attack out with everybody. Correct, there's a fatal push coming in. Killing the dream caller, so they're actually gonna get in for just nine. Let's see if we can get into another favorable wins or something like that. Search for Ascanta. Fifteen, gotcha. Seventeen. Stormfleet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're a little bit on the back foot here. As far as tempo goes. We want to definitely bring in the Fumigates on uh, game two. Next week's Simic only. <laughs> There's like five good Azurius decks in standard. That's kind of true. Opponent is down to eight. Let's see. They have the ability to get Legion's Landing to flip here. Make a token. Nine. And then a token from Hidden Stockpile. Ixalan's Binding. Oh. Gonna grab the Stormfleet. Oh, favorable wins. Oh, good pick there. I can't play it again. That sucks. I think that's the moment we've lost this match. Yeah, getting in here. Flipping Legion's Landing. We're going to kill a Lifelinker here. <laughs> Want to see this deck run that Hecma card. <laughs> that's true, you would be immune to tokens. All right, he's at nine, we're at six. 11. Glacial Fortress. We can hold up blocks here. One, two, three, four, one, two. But that would be it. Yeah, this is where the uh, the match gets away from us because they've Ixalan binding the uh, Hyrule wins. The only other thing we could play would be Angel of Invention, which we do have it. Also, River's Rebuke is in game one as well, so 
We play that out and completely wipe their board. They have one card in hand. Let's see what happens. Got some epic music going right now. I haven't seen Hecma since Amonkhet. <laughs> yeah, protection of the Hecma. Gonna push a... okay. We'll take, what, five? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll go to one here. Oh, they didn't attack without everybody. Okay. We'll only take th th uh, three and go to three. What's up, Halsey? How have, we, have we done so far? Not good, Halsey. <laughs> but that's all right. These streams are about having fun and seeing what we can do. Going to 14, Scavenger Grounds. Yeah, we're dead. Let's go to a uh, concede game here. Sideboard. Let's see here. Fumigate's coming in for sure. Let's take a brawl out. Could bring in... Take out an obstructionist, bring in a cast out. Another cast out would likely be welcome. Let's take out a charter course for that. Or not everyone, the charter course for that. Yeah, we'll take out one more charter course. I think that might be what we want to do. Authority for tokens. We could do that. That is true. Take out a siren. And obstructionist. Respect the authority. <laughs> I think we're. Gonna, I think that's good. Let's submit here. Fumigates are not good for you. I think they're fine because we do get the life gain back, but I would say they're not great in this particular matchup. Oh my gosh! Another no mana hand. Two in one stream. Well, we've got one island and two storm tamers. Goodness gracious. Uh. Sure. Sure. Having no mana hands is just like, it's, I don't know if it's like a, a stream tradition now. I feel like it is. <clears throat> Ix won't be, yeah, it will be in standard longer. Got an island here. Let's get out a storm tamer. Then get in for one. You really do have weird luck on stream. I, I agree, Anthony. It's so weird. <clears throat> I'll never have a, a mana problem until I get on stream. That's that's kind of what the point is. Push that. That's fine. Dominary is only one set block. Uh, yeah, they changed to one set blocks after that. After Ixalan. Mind Sensor. Okay, let's get him for one here. Again, need white mana. There are eight pieces of white mana as well as Glacial Fortress in the deck. So, 12 pieces of white mana in the deck. Curse of the live stream. Sideboard? Yeah. <laughs> I can agree with that. Champion of Wits. Drawing two, discarding two. No stockpile trigger this turn. I'd like to get into a white mana so we can do uh, a Sunwing play. Let's see what we got here. Field of Ruin. 
Let's kill the Glacial Fortress here. And get some white mana for ourselves. Thank you. <laughs> I don't like one set blocks. I like the storylines between sets. Hold me, I'm sad. I mean, the, the blocks will be like really big, right? That was the kind of the point. Let's get in for one here. Seems every time I get a deck that crushes, I go live and mana flutter screwed. Sideboard, welcome to my world. <laughs> it's awful. <clears throat> I don't. I don't get it either. It's like uh, I'll I'll run like you know five matches in a row and win you know four or five all five of them, and then go on stream and lose back to back to back to back. It's just so strange. Six thousand card block. Drown catacomb. Sacred Cat coming in. Gonna hit and stockpile the cat. Yep, there it is. Hit and stockpile trigger. An island, very nice. Let's go for a cast out on the uh, hidden stockpile here. I think that's fair. Three cards in hand for our opponent. And then we'll just get in for one. Next turn we'll play out the Sunwing or the Avon Mind Sensor. Taryn, you better not mess up my burn deck. <laughs> I'll try not to. Seth talks about the stream curse too. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Getting in for three, going to fifteen. All right, three cards in our opponent's hand. And their stockpile play could be likely. Ixlon's binding on the cast out. I would imagine. Yeah. So what we can do now is Ixlon's binding the Ixlon's binding to cast out the hidden stockpile. Which is fun. Okay. Making a server with a hidden stockpile. Two cards in hand. Got an island there. Let's go for an attack here. Down to 16. I know Winter Priest is in the graveyard, so we might see that coming up soon. Let's go for a Sunwing here. <laughs> yeah, Binding is, I would say, much better than Cast Out. <clears throat> However, Cast Out does have Flash, so if we need to spot removal like a Scarab God, Cast Out might be the more useful one, depending. Three cards in our opponent's hand. Five mana going for an Anointer Priest here. Coming in tapped. Let's see what we can draw into next turn. We'd like to actually draw into a uh, Plains if we could. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go for a Servo kill here. We're not going to kill the uh, Champion just yet. Uh, you guys are dorks in the stream. Another anoint or a servo coming in. Anoint your priest trigger. Okay, our turn. You have Ixlon's bind. There it is. Yeah, we're gonna Ixlon's binding. The Ixlon's binding, and then cast out the hidden stockpile. There we go. Now they can Ixlon's binding our favorable wins when we draw into that. They can get in for four this coming turn. We're going to get in for... 
let's see. I think one is fair. <laughs> Little tree folk action. Opponent is down to 17. Four cards in our opponent's hand. Five mana, so we could see a Fumigate if they get into another Plains. If they have a cast out, they could cast out a Nixlon's Binding and then, you know, have that happen again. Hidden Stockpile. There we go. Opponent's strategy is still going strong. We're going to go for a Champion block here. Get in for one. No problem. Still need seven minutes to make that happen, so. Down to 12. <laughs> Hidden stockpile, making another servo. Coming in tapped. There it is. There's our baby. Ixalan's binding the hidden stockpile. Do you have negate? Do you have negate? You don't have negate. All right. Getting in for one here. Holding up one mana for the Siren Storm Tamer just in case a Sunwing is targeted. All right, we've Ixalan binding and Ixalan's binding and Ixalan's binding a hidden stockpile. So the only other card they could possibly have would be Anointed Procession, perhaps. But that would be unlikely, because that card isn't really built in those decks. Thank you for entertaining us. No problem. Oh, man. Let's get into uh, planes next turn, hopefully. Come on, deck. You know you know you like to mana flood me. Give me a, give me a planes. <clears throat> Getting in here for nothing, or just passing? <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Another white mana would be great, yeah. Legion's Landing, okay. Could have played that, then swung out, but I just didn't want to lose a creature, I suppose. Let's see if we can get another Legion's, uh, Exxon's Binding for the Legion's Landing now. That would be fun. Storm Tamer, okay. Gonna get out for one here. Okay, not drawing into anything we really need at the moment. Exploring the world of magic is important to our existence. <laughs> so Taryn, what is the best deck you have played so far from Ixalan? Um, man. I really like the amulet, the Grixis control, or Grixis amulet deck that I built a couple weeks ago. That deck is so much fun, JD. Yeah, they're gonna go for a flip here. I'm gonna kill uh, Life Linker here. Down to nine. Still need to be very careful about what's going on. There's a mind sensor. Hmm. Let's get that out for this turn. Two cards in hand for our opponent. Come on, there we go. Alright, do you have an essence scatter? You do not. Let's go for servos here. Uh, let's get in for uh, six. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> let's see, we got a cast out here. A Danto, okay. Gonna gain life, gonna make a 1 1. Search for Ascanta. K 
Okay, so we probably want to kill the uh, Danto first fort uh, once we get into a field of ruin over the uh, Escanta. However, they could have some cast outs or fumigates, so that is something to keep in mind. We can't hit in for 11. There's a fumigate. <laughs> kind of figured that was going to happen. Anoint your priest. Let's see what we can top deck here. Let's top deck a, uh, a creature. There we go. Very nice. Fantastic top deck. Let's go for a servos here. Pass turn. Hey, turn. You think Vraska's hair is made of blind snakes or snake butts? Very important. Please read. <laughs> um. So, I think Vraska herself is a snake, right? So I think that. It would be like technically like just the snake limb, like instead of the face, because her face is the snake head, right? That's kind of how I would see it. Search for Ascanta. No riddle form. No, there's not really a riddle form available for this uh, favorable wins deck. Maybe in a future build. Two cards for our opponent. Snake limbs. This is madness. <laughs> He's a Gorgon. Braska is a Gorgon, okay. Gorgons have tentacles, not snakes. Would you not, would you not consider the uh, snake's body a limb? Do you look at deck lists from people in chat? Uh, Colin, uh, if you want to submit something for Fan Fridays, the Facebook group is in the description, the link is. And there's a pin post there for that. Um, the, you can't share links in the Facebook or in the uh, YouTube chat. We're gonna pass here. There's a favorable wins for us. Let's get in for three here for some life link action. Very nice. Finally back in the game a little bit. Opponent has four cards in hand. He threw away two Ixalons binding already. Gorgons do have snake hair. Ravnikin just don't. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, man. Gorgon Ramsey. Oh, magic. That was dumb. Five cards in the hand for our opponent. We'll double block the servos with uh, the champion of wits here. Hey, looking to build a deck for friends, for fun with just friends, was looking to do a white deck with maybe blue or green. Have you even got any builds? Uh, well, this is a blue-white deck here. Fatal Push. There are a ton of really great decks all over the place on YouTube. I'd recommend checking that out. Probably typing in blue-green or like, um, like UG or UW if you want to do blue-white. Getting in for four here. I'm going to let this happen for the first time. Because I definitely need the blockers for later. Because we'll just be losing one life, technically, with the Angel of Invention here. Let's see if we top deck into a creature. Charter Course would also be great as well. Gideon's Intervention, too. Let's see, we got a cast out, maybe? Or another Fumigate. Anointed Procession. They did have it. Wow. This deck has everything. Goodness. Sacred Cat. And another Legion's Landing. Good lord. Glacial Fortress. Not gonna do it. Gonna get in for three in the air here. Get some life back. Alright, this next turn is going to be rough for us. Two cards in our opponent's hand.
mythology is just awesome. I would agree with that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, okay. Eight mana, two cards in hand. All the answers. Swinging out. Taren, he's getting out of hand. <laughs> We're seeing Esper tokens with control. Yeah. Yeah, they had to pick a, uh, a Danto there. Be taking five this turn. Going to six. Pulling our own Fume Gate might actually be pretty decent as well, but they do have the Fort of still available. So getting into a Field of Ruin isn't terrible, but we might just be dead anyway. Sacred Cat making two of. Mind Sensor, okay. Let's get that out. Get in for three for some uh, life gain here. Okay. We're holding on, but not for much longer. Going for an Ascanta here. Again, Mind Teacher doesn't affect Ascanta because he's only looking at the top four anyway. Very excited for tomorrow's stream. Lots of fun decks were submitted. Yeah, Elliot, it's crazy. I don't even know what to pick. There's so many great decks. Didn't get any notification today. Crud. Just drafted with new mod. Nice. Let's see. Four card in our opponent's hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Looking kind of hopeless for us right now. We're gonna block there. Block there and there. We do lose a creature for that. But we do get the big baddie out of the way, thanks to the Avon Mind Sensor and Angel of Invention with favorable wins. There is no chance of winning for you. Joey! We're gonna fight back! Let's see. We have a, f a Fumigate here. Let's get in for three here. We're going to hold on to our Fumigate for a little while and see if we can get into a Field of Ruin. They're going to do a Danto here, make two Life Linkers. <laughs> the waves are Waifu. <laughs> it's Waifu. Let's see, Ascanta. Thirty-two life, fifteen life for us. We're gonna sack and evolve a wild. Taking only, or like, oh, actually, we have a uh, Aven out, so they can search for whatever they want. Five cards in hand. Let's see what's happening here. I want to see <laughs> more decks run one copy of Endless Sands. There's a push. Okay. There's a favorable wins for us. Angel Invention just like they're holding holding it back, holding back at the entire onslaught of creatures here. Keep gaining lots of life, so I think next turn we might fumigate. Music's very sad for us too right now. Okay. 
Going for an Ascanta. Still looking for something. <laughs> go, go, Angel. Okay, opponent's going to swing out for a bunch. We'll get to block one, take five, but actually only take one. The opponent is at 41 right now. Okay. Another anointed recession? Oh, it's game over. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Unless we get into a Gideon's intervention here. Or we can name Vampire. Because that would be hilarious. Let's get out an aerialist here. It's a five six. If we get into uh, Gideon's intervention and name uh, the vampire token, we can't. We can name that, right? Opponent is at forty one right now. Nine vampire tokens. Okay. Three cards in hand for our opponent. Attacking out for nine. Hitting for seven. So he's actually going to do some damage to us now. Doesn't have a name. Okay, you're right. Thanks. Dream color siren. Opponent is at 50 life right now. Okay. I don't think there's anything we can do technically, but we're gonna try. Okay, would you again? Would you have a fumigate to get rid of this? We just need to get into a field of ruin for the Adanto here. If we can get into that, I would be quite happy. Let's go for a dream color here. Three cards in hand. Yeah, we're just gonna tap down two of the vampires. We could be attacking with Aerialist, that's true. <laughs> Double Fumigate power! Let's see. I don't like having these tap though, just to have the extra blockers. I know that's weird based on what we're trying to do right now, but we're staying alive thanks to Angel. Okay. Why haven't I fumigated yet? I'm really kind of waiting on a Field of Ruin to kill the Adanto and then fumigate. The reason is so I don't get another uh, trove of vampires coming in on me. The opponent might actually time, her, time themselves out. We're putting up a fight, but we really need to get into a field of ruin. We have one that's in the graveyard already. Oh, the siren can't block anyway. You're right. I'm not sure why wasn't it blocking. It wasn't attacking. I just kept forgetting. That's my bad. A third of the procession. Oh my gosh. Evolving Wilds. Come on! There it is! Yeah, we're killing it. Of course, he's going to do one more trigger. Okay. Alright, we're back in this. Opponent is at 80, by the way. Full attack and fume, yeah. 
get in for nine here. All right. Do you have a uh, counter card for the Fumigate? You don't? We go to 42. Whew. All right, guys. All right. We're, we're in this still. He just pulled a Legion's Landing with a Ascanta. <laughs> but he still needs three creatures to do that. So he's got... Let's see who's got in the graveyard here. He's got Anointer Priest. And that's it. So he can hit for two. This is like Dragon Ball Z levels of like, just how high can our, <laughs> our life go? Oh, man. All right, we have a uh, Legion's Landing making eight vampires there. Let's go for a Fumigate. Let's make an Aerialist. And then pass. Just hold that Fumigate for a few. Let him flip his lane and get a few swings in. You'll time him out. That's true, but he would have flipped his land and have an infinite amount of vampires. Grabbed a fatal push with Ascanta. One mana summons eight dudes. <laughs> okay. Opponent's going to time himself out most likely, but let's see what we got here. Champion of Wits. Okay. They can also make the Anointer Priest. Hidden Stockpiles going to the graveyard there. Another Champion of Wits. Hoping they actually draw themselves out rather than time out. They have 12 cards in their deck, that's true. Two legions landing here. Making some more vampires. Yeah, he did get me to use my Fumigate there. Anointer Priest. Angel at the top. We already used both of our angels. Don't have another angel. I'm gonna top deck a land here. We're gonna take a lot of damage this next turn. <laughs> oh man. I think we're still gonna I mean we're obviously still gonna lose, but it's just it's just fun to see this deck kinda come back from the brink every time. Angels off the top anyway. <laughs> There's Storm Timer. I think he still has a Fatal Push, right? Or did he use it on the other guy? I think he used it on the other guy. Up to 81. Believe in the heart of the cards. <laughs> well, they can do quite a bit this turn. We kill a champion here. He can make a, a bunch of uh, four fours. So we're not going to do that. Up to ninety seven. Oh man! Ah, oh, yeah, we're dead. <laughs> Why didn't you play the first priest to gain life from tokens? He is silly. I don't know. Can hit six here. Ah, oh, this was fun. This was a fun match to end the end the day on. Even though we've lost all the matches, I'm okay with that. It happens. Opponent is at 105 life right now. But if you liked the video, of course, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit the bell right beside the subscription button to know when we upload a new video on the channel. And when we go live on the stream right here on YouTube. And my name's Taryn. This was Blue White Azurius Favorable Winds. I'm going to block one here. And still die. <laughs> and that's been it. Nice. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow for Fan Fridays. Again, if you uh, haven't submitted yet, I'm going to give you a little bit to submit in the Facebook group or at my email at SuperHinoTama right above me at gmail.com. But I will see you guys tomorrow for Fan Friday. Have a good day. Peace.